What's going on, guys? It's your boy Dev back with another one. He's talking about this. And today, we're going to be talking about Physical Beerus' celebration and him not having a great top grossing. I just want to make this clear that this is the only non saying top grossing. And the bad thing about it is that he did not give stones for his top grossing. It's kind of a. It really, it really, really hurts. So, if we take a look at the celebration as a whole, the celebration wasn't too terrible, but it was kind of lackluster because, if I'm correct, he did come out right after the 50th anniversary LRs. Yeah, so he came out a month after the 50th anniversary LRs. So he was in the month of Saiyan Day. Um, I think Physical Transforming Vegeta actually came out um in 2020 and then 2021 no no it was Bardock. Bardock came out in 2020 for for Saiyan Day last year for 2019 was um physical super saiyan uh, vegeta so let's go and talk about beers beers obviously i'm not gonna talk about his car but you know how i feel about him he hits really hard he has a bunch of support type units around him, make him look good of course he's on realm of gods a very stacked team he got hard replaces his leader skill um his super attack effect is re very lackluster you know he just stacks attack he looks very good in that legendary goku event he was made specifically tailor-made for the legendary goku event but obviously we know that events fizzled out i'm not gonna talk about it too much but you know his attacks as Still has not aged, which can still make him, I guess, solid. But, you know, if you think about it, a lot of units are hitting hard. But not as many TURs can hit as hard as Beerus turn one. Truth. So, I think that's what about it for physical Beerus. I'm not going to keep talking about it. So, yeah. Um, this this celebration wasn't too terrible. You know, you had STR Reese on here, who's a very polarizing um, TUR. You have uh, physical Beerus, who was pretty crazy for the Legend of Goku event when it was um, out for that year. And uh, I think uh, Int Blue Vegeta EZA is also right. Yeah, this is at the time where he EZA is. This guy is actually kind of ass right now, but back then he was pretty solid. Um, and, you know, you just had a bunch of, you know, just regular shit for a celebration. Now, the kicker here is that surprisingly, this celebration got top grossing on JP, but on Global, it didn't. <laughs> Now, it makes complete sense that this celebration didn't get top grossing on Global. I mean, it's pretty weird that it didn't because, you know, tickets and, you know, it's an incentive to summon. But, hey, who cares? People were saving up for their 50th anniversary on Global. But back on over to JP, we only got Kai's, statues, turtle shells, keys, and potential orbs. Where is the stones? I think that if they're going to do something for physical Beerus, like having this sort of top grossing, I think it should have been really, really fair to give bro give us 30 stones like back at this time this was surprising as fuck to see this was almost as surprising as the celebration where int kid goku was the fastest top grossing ever i should have brought up int kid goku but we're gonna go and do a separate video on him because it's pretty crazy i think it was like six hours it was like f f like five to six hours int kid goku on jp got that smoked the jp marketplace and got that really fast top grossing but this is definitely the worst top grossing to touch down like ever because it gave no stones this is ridiculous you get five kai's keys potential orbs turtle shells and one hercule statue that was kind of ass i'm not gonna lie now, I don't want to hear that bullshit about global when you guys say oh but we only got seven stones for top grossing stones trumps everything on this top grossing let me just tell you this right now <laughs> stones definitely takes all this crumples it up into a fucking paper ball and throws that shit because this this is ridiculous i think this should have been way more than this like if you're gonna do no stones this this should have been three of every grand um elder kai this should have been like the five uh, hercule statues this should have been like 30 total shells of each type this should have been like 30 keys for each type and this should have been at least six thousand instead of three thousand because this is completely not fair if you really think about it it's like it's ridiculous it's, it's really ridiculous especially for a unit such as beerus beerus is not hype at all so i'm quite surprised that the japanese marketplace actually went pretty crazy for this guy it's it's actually ridiculous it's really ridiculous bro but don't worry we're gonna talk about nk goku tomorrow i think that's really about it i just want to make a quick fast video you know beerus is a pretty solid unit he just lacks his defense he just has an amazing attack stat um that's really about it i mean this guy did have tickets on global just to reinstate that right let's go ahead and take a look did he did he have tickets on global mm. let me take a look oh no that was the wrong thing, excuse me. Let me see. Did you guys did you guys get tickets on global for this? No, you guys had the step up summons. Oh, that's that's even better. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? That's way better. 
Yeah, no tickets. Don't matter. You guys are the step up son. That, that's pretty fucking good. At the time, this banner was quite solid. This is a this is a solid banner. I'm on, I won't even lie. What was the banner for JP before I close out the video? Let me see. What do we have for JP? Um, it's the same damn banner. Okay, so I think that's. Oh no, excuse me. It's not the same banner. Oh, we had cooler, and you guys had blue cow king Goku. Oh yeah, nah. JP had a better banner, easily. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Hey, the top grossing with no top grossing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.